This video is to show you how to record yourself with GarageBand. Hi, I'm Lori Thayer, author and creator of LoriThayer.com and contributing author at Lifehack.org. Today I want to introduce you to an application called GarageBand and show you how you can use it to record your voice. First we'll talk about why you might want to do this, second we'll talk about what GarageBand is, and third I'll show you how you can do it. So let's start off. Why might you want to record yourself um, with an application like GarageBand? You might want to create an audio blog. You might want to give some instruction to somebody else. You could actually do a podcast with GarageBand if you know, you're trying to do that. You may also want to create the audio tracks to go with a slide presentation that you might even later create into a movie file. So what is GarageBand? GarageBand is an application for Macs. So if you're a PC user, this solution is not for you. Um, uh, many of the Macs are going to come with GarageBand, so you should just check and see if you have it really easily. You can check by doing a command spacebar, and on the spotlight that comes in the upper right, just type in GAR for GarageBand. And so then you can open it. I already have it open here, and GarageBand allows you, you know, you could create music tracks in this thing, so I've never gone quite so far. I'm just using it to record my voice, and there's a couple reasons why I found that to be good. So let's go right now into how you're going to use it. You're going to create a new project here, and you want to select either voice or podcast. I'm going to go ahead and choose podcast. And we'll just take the default there. Okay, so this is GarageBand. Let's see if I can get it to fit in the screen. Okay, so you can see it can record a male voice, a female voice, or jingles. Podcasts allow that. They're kind of thinking you might be recording a few different people. We're only interested in the, well, for me, it's a female voice, right? <laughs> so I'm going to turn on the female voice, and then I can just come right down here, and it's going to start recording even while I'm talking to you. So it's also making an audio recording. And you just let it record as long as and you talk into it, and then stop it when you're done. Okay. So, and actually, over here, I came to the bottom right to the info icon because I want to select no effects. And it's fine that I've done that even though I've already made my recording, it's still going to change it. And the reason I wanted to do that is I've played with this in just doing the um, like the female basic that it was on. And um, it, it's like an echo. There's kind of a, it sounds far away. And I'm sure, you know, if you're creating a music track, or there's probably some reason you'd want that. But I actually just want no effects because I want the clear voice to do the voiceover for a keynote. So once you've created the audio track, you can drag this little slider over to listen to what you recorded and we'll listen in. Now that might not have actually played for you guys because <laughs> I've got a headset on. So it'll play back for you when you play that and you can also use um, this section down here to break it into even more, you know, see it at a deeper level. We don't really need that. I would suggest you just record and go with it from there, but if you want to split it out, you can go up to the very top, GarageBand. And let me see. It's heading for me. But you, oh, maybe it's a right click, sorry. Oh, split, that's what I was looking for. I thought it was split track. So if you know that 
you want to trim a spot and it's in the middle of your track, you can split it and it's going to split wherever this line is. And then you would be able to come here and see this little icon if it's going that way. You can move it that way. It's going the other way. You're going to trim. And then you just want to drag these back together to have not have blank space, you know, dead air in the track. So when you're happy with the track as it is, the really nice thing with GarageBand is you can just send it to iTunes, which is again just here outside of our viewing area. <laughs> so GarageBand share sent to iTunes. So I'm going to click that and it's going to say I can just take the defaults. I like to select MP3 because most likely we're going to use it somewhere else later as an MP3 um, and I change it to a spoken podcast. And that's fine when I'm doing anything crazy with the podcasting. Right down here, and it's going to... So then it started to play what, um, you know, what we recorded when I spoke. And that's really nice. If you hadn't, if you had saved it as an AAC file, you can create it as an MP3 in here. But we don't need to do that. So, really simple. That is how you create a track and then export it. You can also export it to disk, but it's really simple. Most of us use things in iTunes, so I would just suggest using it there. All right, so we covered today why you might want to record yourself with GarageBand, what it is for Mac users, remember that, and how to use it. It is really simple and you know, you can trim it if you like, but I suggest just keep it simple, record, keep it how it is, and there you go. So, try out GarageBand recording yourself. Let me know how you do. Report back in the comments.